How to eat acorns. Step one, put your acorns in water. Any of the ones that float are a bad nut, like that guy with the Willy Wonka TikTok. Make sure to throw any out with a hole in it, because that means an acorn weevil beat you to it, you goober. Oh, guys, this one's already sprouting. I'm going to plant them and grow a new tree. Next is the Krakening. I hold it in place with a nutcracker, then smash it with a hammer. Success! Now I have to do this like 200 more times. When you take the nut meat out of the shell, try to get as much of the skin off as possible too. Put the nut meat into water to stop oxidation and to start leaching the tannins out. Also, it's tomorrow now. After a day, it'll look like this and all that color is the tannins yeeting themselves from the acorns because it's water soluble. To speed up the leaching process, you can also grind them into a meal and pass water across it because exposed surface area. Then soak until they're not bitter anymore. White oaks take like a day. Red oaks take like three weeks. I used my ground acorns to stuff a pan bread and make lace cookies. Acorn pancakes, a carby gift from the trees. Ooh. These are acorns. They came from a tree. I ground these acorns and soaked them in water for two weeks and then ended up with these acorn grits, but we have to go smaller. I see you winding and grinding. Boom, acorn flour. Meet your dries. They're gonna get real nice and cozy with your wets, otherwise known as oat milk, spicy nut water, AKA no chino, and some homemade vinegar, but store-bought's fine. Look at the vinegar mother. Don't look at her, just kidding, she's creepy. Mix your wets. Mix your dries. Mix your wets and your dries. Now we're in business. Pour onto a hot flat of your choosing. Pancake pro tip, uh, when all the bubbles pop but they stay open spaces, they're ready to flip. Okay, but y'all, these slap. Go find some acorns. It's make a cake from tree nut time, make a cake from tree nut time, make a cake from tree nut time, way yeah. Wait. Hey, we're going to use acorns to make jelly. Maybe, I don't know, I might mess it up. Step one, make sure you have that good, good acorn nut meat. Meaning they passed the float test by sinking and have soaked long enough that the tannins have thoroughly yeeted themselves. Time to blend. Blend them with a little water, cause we're gonna be collecting that starch. Acorn milk. It's the milk they don't want you to know about. Time to strain with the nut milk bag. Now up here, we have our acorn ground, but what we need for our jelly is down here. It's settling time. Some facts while we wait. Acorn jelly originates in Korea where it is known as dotori muk, and the acorn starch is a perfect dupe for corn starch. Much like my college significant others, the acorn starch has settled. Just kidding, I was a damn catch then and I'm a damn catch now. Now add your starch to fresh water. Turn on that heat and mix. My girl is looking thick. Into the mold, into the fridge. Moment of truth. I put my thing down, flipped it, added sauce, and had acorn jelly. I can't believe this is made out of acorns I got off the ground. 